Scene script. Have you ever wondered if there could be oxygen on the moon? It's a question that stirs the imagination, isn't it? After all, we've been told time and time again that the moon is a barren, lifeless place. A desolate world, devoid of atmosphere and, by extension, devoid of oxygen. The common belief paints a picture of the moon as a silent gray desert suspended in the infinite expanse of space where no breath of life can exist. And yet, think about this. The moon is our closest celestial neighbor. It's been there watching over us since the dawn of time. It's been a beacon of inspiration, sparking countless tales and propelling our dreams of space exploration. It's even served as a stepping stone for our species when, in 1969, mankind first set foot on its surface. We've sent numerous missions to the moon, gathered loads of lunar data and yet, there's so much we still don't understand about it. The lack of an atmosphere on the moon has been a widely accepted fact. After all, without an atmosphere there can't possibly be any oxygen, right? But science is a field that thrives on curiosity, on asking questions and challenging the established norms. And sometimes these questions lead to discoveries that can turn our understanding of the universe upside down. So let's return to our original question. Could there be oxygen on the moon? Now we're not talking about vast breathable amounts of oxygen. But what if there were traces of it hidden away in the moon's surface or tucked away in its cold shadowy craters? What if the moon, this so-called lifeless world, had been keeping a secret from us all this time? What if we told you that this belief might be wrong? What if there's more to the moon than we've ever imagined? The story starts in the year 2023, with India's ambitious lunar mission, Chandrayaan-3. A mission that builds upon the legacy of its predecessors, Chandrayaan-1 and Chandrayaan-2, each one a stepping stone in the journey to uncover the mysteries of our closest celestial neighbor. Let's take a step back and revisit the earlier chapters of this space odyssey. The year was 2008. India's first lunar mission, Chandrayaan-1, made its mark in the annals of space exploration by being the first to detect traces of water ice on the moon, an accomplishment that not only brought India into the global space race, but also changed our understanding of the moon. Fast forward to 2019, Chandrayaan-2 set forth to follow up on its predecessor's discovery. Despite a software glitch in the lander's braking system, Chandrayaan-2's orbiter continues to circle the moon, capturing invaluable data. Then, the stage was set for Chandrayaan-3, the third chapter in India's lunar exploration story. Launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Center, the mission consisted of an orbiter, lander and rover. The goal was to study the lunar south pole, a region largely unexplored and thought to contain significant amounts of water ice. Instruments were on board to measure seismic activity, temperature fluctuations, and the plasma field. The rover was designed to study the chemical composition of the lunar regolith, the layer of loose fragmented material covering solid bedrock. The software bug that had hindered Chandrayaan-2 had been fixed, and with a successful launch, Chandrayaan-3 began its journey to the moon. The mission was not just about reaching the moon, it was about delving deeper into the unknown, about exploring the unexplored, and about igniting the spark of curiosity that drives us to look beyond our own world. With its successful launch, Chandrayaan-3 began its quest to uncover the moon's secrets. On a seemingly normal day, Chandrayaan-3 made a groundbreaking discovery. As the lunar day dawned, the rover was busy with its routine activities, analyzing the lunar regolith, recording temperature fluctuations, and monitoring seismic activity. It was then that the unexpected happened. The rover's instruments, fine-tuned to detect the smallest of changes, picked up signs of something astonishing, something never before detected on the moon. Oxygen. The rover used a suite of sophisticated instruments to make this detection. One of these was a spectrometer, a device designed to measure the properties of light over a specific portion of the electromagnetic spectrum, which can reveal the presence of specific elements and compounds. It was this device that first detected the unexpected oxygen signature. The spectrometer works by measuring the wavelengths of light that are absorbed or emitted by substances. Each element and compound has its own unique fingerprint of light absorption and emission. So by analyzing these fingerprints, scientists can determine what substances are present. In this case, the spectrometer detected the unique fingerprint of oxygen amidst the lunar regolith. The initial reactions to this discovery were a mix of surprise and excitement. After all, this was something that had never been detected before. Scientists quickly began to verify the data, running it through rigorous checks and balances. When the results held up, the news was announced to the world. 
The implications of this discovery were enormous. Oxygen on the moon could revolutionize our understanding of lunar geology and potentially have significant implications for future lunar exploration. It could provide a vital resource for astronauts on future missions, reducing the need to carry oxygen from Earth and potentially paving the way for longer stays on the moon. This was not just a discovery, it was a leap forward in our understanding of the moon. It challenged pre-existing theories and opened up a whole new realm of possibilities. But most importantly, it was a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless quest for knowledge. This was an unprecedented discovery that shook the scientific community to its core. But how did Chandrayaan-3 confirm the presence of oxygen on the moon, you may ask? Well, it's a tale of technology, tenacity, and a little thing we call science. Chandrayaan-3, India's third lunar mission, was armed with an array of scientific instruments including a rover to study the moon's regolith. That's the layer of loose, fragmented material covering solid bedrock. The rover played a pivotal role in the discovery of oxygen. It's like a mobile laboratory, capable of conducting on-site chemical analysis. The rover used a process called mass spectrometry, a technique that helps identify the types and amounts of chemicals present in a sample. In this case, the lunar regolith. It works by ionizing chemical compounds to generate charged molecules or molecule fragments and measuring their mass-to-charge ratios. Now here's where things get exciting. As the rover analyzed the lunar regolith, it detected a significant amount of oxygen ions. This was a revelation. But to ensure this wasn't a fluke, the rover repeated the process at various locations around the landing site, each time coming up with similar results. The data collected by the rover was then transmitted back to the Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, for further analysis. Teams of scientists pored over the results, cross-referencing with other data collected by the lander and orbiter. This extensive analysis was crucial to confirm the initial findings and rule out any potential errors or anomalies. After rigorous tests and retests, the conclusion was drawn. The oxygen ions detected were not an error. They were not an anomaly. They were real. The rover's findings were cross-verified with the orbiter's data which also showed signs of oxygen in the lunar atmosphere, albeit in very minute quantities. So, there you have it. Through the power of advanced technology, meticulous testing and scientific interpretation, Chandrayaan-3 confirmed what was once thought impossible. The evidence was undeniable, there was oxygen on the moon. So what does this mean for us and the future of space exploration? This discovery of oxygen on the moon is nothing short of revolutionary. It has profound implications, not only for scientific understanding, but also for the future of space exploration and potential lunar colonization. Firstly, the presence of oxygen on the moon could change the game for future moon missions. Oxygen is a vital resource for the survival of astronauts, and it's also a key component in rocket fuel. The ability to extract and utilize lunar oxygen could reduce the amount of resources that space missions need to carry from Earth, making them more efficient and cost-effective. Secondly, this could pave the way for the establishment of a sustainable human presence on the Moon. Imagine, lunar bases where astronauts can live and work for extended periods, conducting research and perhaps even mining for other valuable resources. This could be the first step towards humanity becoming a multi-planetary species. For India, this discovery underscores their growing prowess in space exploration. The Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, has consistently demonstrated its ability to conduct successful and cost-effective space missions. This achievement further solidifies India's place in the global space community, inspiring other nations to push their boundaries in space exploration. This discovery also has broader implications for our understanding of the moon. It challenges our previous assumptions about lunar conditions and prompts us to ask new questions. Could there be other unexpected resources hidden beneath the moon's surface? What does this mean for the moon's geological history and how does it compare to Earth's? In the grand scheme, this could also impact our quest to understand the universe. The moon is our closest celestial neighbor and insights gained from studying it can provide valuable clues about other planets and celestial bodies.